Hey, Shad here with SpeedX, and today we're gonna uncreate the HJC i10 full face helmet. HJC, if you haven't heard of them, then you probably haven't been shopping for helmets very long because they are the number one brand in the world by volume. They sell more helmets than any other manufacturer. So uh, HJC has been ubiquitous in the market for a long time. Over the past couple of years, they've, reno they've kind of renovated their, their lineup and have a new gen of helmets. The i10 is part of that. These helmets are all compatible with the new HJC Smart communication system would start as low as $140. So that's pretty awesome. A lot of comm systems these days run a lot closer to 300 bucks. So the i10 is more of an entry level offering from HJC because it's only $150, it's polycarbonate. So you can get in the door and it's Snell approved. So you're in a lot for your money here. We're gonna break it down all the way, tell you all about this helmet. But the, suffice to say, uh, between the price of the helmet and one of the smart 10B systems, you're all in at about $300 with comm system and a Snell approved helmet. A great package for someone new or someone that's hitting the track on a budget and needs a, or wants a Snell helmet and uh, doesn't want to break the bank. So this comes in two shell sizes. It is polycarbonate shell construction. Like I said, $150 makes one yours. The one uh, pain point on this helmet is a little heavy at three pounds, nine ounces. If you want something lighter, you gotta move up to a fiberglass or carbon fiber helmet. It's gonna be about twice the price. Uh, that's what you pay for in more premium helmets, more ventilation, sometimes more bells and whistles, but usually always a lighter helmet. DOT, ECE, and Snell 2020 uh, rating on this. Two shell sizes, like I told you, runs true to fit. So HACs are pretty good about that. Go by the sizing chart, you probably won't miss. But in case you do, risk-free shopping at Speed Addicts. If you buy it from speedaddicts.com, we have free exchanges and returns. We'll pay to get the helmet back here, get you an exchange or a refund. It's your choice. Uh, let's dive in and see what HAC's cooked up here. First of all, ventilation. We have nice, big, easy, smooth, actuated forehead vents. There's uh, an off position and on position, nothing in between. So you are one or the other, nice, big, Ram air vents that are attractive and easy to work with a glove on. Then we have a typical kind of forehead vent, which is a little bit more wimpy, um, but the action is positive. It's kind of, uh, it's almost got a spring action to it, uh, which is nice. It doesn't feel like some helmets in this price range, the, the switches feel loose. Um, this one's a real nice positive lock. And working our way down, we have a typical chin bar vent here. Again, nice action, easy to work with gloves on, beefy. Around the back, when it comes to uh, ventilation purposes, we do have one escape that creates the Venturi exhaust that pulls the hot air out of the helmet and gets the cool air back in. No uh, vents below that, so it is a one trick pony with the exhaust ventilation just all up here under this diffuser, which is enough to get you decent ventilation. But again, some of their higher end offerings from the Arfa line do have more ventilation. Let's check out the shield uh, system. So this is a pinlock letting ready injection molded shield, which is nice and sturdy. It has a security lock. You hear that double locking. Okay, so to work this up, you have to pinch and pull and now get your visor up. That's to make sure it does not disengage on the highway and uh, put you in a lot of trouble. So we like that. It's got a nice positive seal. Good weather stripping from HJC. Helmet should not leak uh, water or air and uh, that helps reduce noise as well. The other thing to, to note about the face shield on the i10 is that it is pin lock ready. Uh, that's what these little nipples here are on the side. What is a pin lock insert? Pin lock insert is an extra lens that installs on the inside of the shield, creating a dual lens system. And what that does is it regulates the temperature between in and out and reduces or totally eliminates fog in most situations. So if you have fog issues, you're gonna have to pay extra for that. They're not including it, which is not surprising at a price point like this. So, sold separately. Detents, got a lot of detents here. Detents are just the stops. Uh, most helmets these days do have a certain amount of ratchet detents like this instead of a smooth action. The smooth action or no detent helmets are usually racing helmets because they figure you want it all the way up or all the way down, not, not something in between. The i10 has a bunch of detents. Most people's favorite is this last one. So we're right on the lip of the lock, but not quite, or even this one. So you get lots of airflow. You live in the south, it's hot, sweaty. 
you know you want to ride around with a little bit of a crack going the i10 has got you covered there let's flip this over and see what is inside oh and not much comes in the box besides your user manual and uh, typical helmet sock nothing fancy here but good enough to keep it from getting scratched up in the garage okay oh and one last thing it does have a breath deflector you can run it with or without this um, it's nice rubberized okay let's check it out so one thing I touched on the beginning of the video but I'm gonna come back to right now is the HJC smart uh, i10 or sorry it's 10b or 20b comm systems they have kind of two levels um, you know the entry level does not have a full mesh system so you can't communicate with lots of riders like the 20b but the 10b runs $140 and it gets you into Bluetooth you can uh, talk to one rider you can listen to your tunes answer calls all that jazz but the best part about the smart system is that it's made by HJC well by Senna for HJC to be used with their smart compatible helmets what do I mean by that it has this battery compartment built in it will have a computer on the side but all the wires and battery pack will be nice and uh, concealed within these compartments also show you the, the speaker pockets that are behind the cheek pads here so again price point for that is really nice you're not going to have to spend three hundred dollars to get into that bluetooth system removable washable cheek pads we'll pull these out of the way so you can see what's going on here or we'll try to always recommend washing these in the sink or if you have a uh, top loader or a side loader without an agitator you can throw them in the washing machine I wouldn't put them in the dryer though I'd let these guys air dry okay that's what your cheek pad looks like nothing too special pretty easy to get out of the way we'll show you what's going on behind there in just a second okay here we go standard double D ring closure with the little retaining clip so that this doesn't swing around the breeze to get in and out of this helmet now that I got those out of the way you can see that speaker pocket down here so your 10b and it's got a it's got a molding for the the mic to get it up in front of your mouth see if you can see that little part there so totally integrated ready to ride we'll pull this liner out of the way just so you can see what it looks like in here again this helmet is DOT snail and ECE so it's got all the homologations you know it's rare to see snail helmets especially these days down around this price point so if the racing organization you're going to ride with requires snail you are covered and that's snail 2020d see that label right inside there EPS is nice and black so it doesn't look funny we have a few channels for ventilation here but nothing too extreme all right and a few ports uh, to let that air flow through the helmet and onto your scalp and keep you cool out there and one last test we'll run just real quick um, HJC's visor mechanism on this helmet is really straightforward it's just this trigger system so really quick and easy if you're gonna do shield changes it only comes with the clear in the box if you want smoke or something fancy buy that separately that's the i10 folks remember if you buy from speed x if you have any issues with the fit or you just decide you don't want it we will cover the shipping to and from you to get that back in exchange so risk-free shopping head over to speed x to get your hjc helmet and check out the i10 while you're there appreciate you guys watching we'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate and don't forget to subscribe